Good morning, guys. Today, I am going to walk you through making air fried broccoli. So if you never had air fried broccoli before, you're missing out. Like, I know you can steam your broccoli, you can probably bake your broccoli, but ain't nothing like air fried broccoli. And today, I'm going to show you how to do it in the air fryer. So first, what we want to do is we want to preheat our air fryer. So I have the Ninja, the Max. So we're going to preheat it. So I'm gonna do max crisp right here. And then I am going to hit that. And then I'm going to just go down to three minutes and preheat my air fryer right there. Next, what we wanna do is let me show you here. We're gonna grab our broccoli. And it's certain broccoli that I like to get. I already got some that's open. So this is the Costco brand broccoli and it's organic. I've tried the broccoli at Walmart and the florets are just too small. So we've already uh, had some of these. My wife probably was using them. So first what you want to get, you want to get yourself some seasoning. Uh, this is very subjective, so it doesn't have to be the same. You just have to experiment to see what you like. Uh, I know what I like to have in mind and I'm going to show you everything that I do to prepare my stuff for this broccoli. So depending on if you're going to use a whole thing or a half thing, you want to get yourself some, uh, I use extra virgin olive oil and then I'll give me a pan and then I'm just going to fill it to where it just clears the bottom just like that. Cause you don't want the broccoli to be oversaturated. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little salt in there right there. I do use potato slayer here and I kind of do this kind of heavy and then we'll use that again and then I like a little onion powder in mine like that so then what you do you grab you a spoon and you just pour half of it in there just like so and then you start wishing it around now once you wish it around it might not seem like it's doing much but it is you don't need it oversaturated. Then I'll put a little more potato seasoning on the top of mine. I'll add the rest of it in, just like so. And then I'll stir some more, making sure you get everything under the bottom on most of the florets. So if it's some that you didn't get on there, what you can use is uh, some, I use avocado spray, but it can be Pam, whatever. I just spray some on the top just a little bit because you don't want to oversaturate it with oil. And then I put some more of this seasoning. This seasoning is not really salty. Uh, so, and then you want to just stir it up and make it good. I do it frozen because frozen to me is good. And I like mine to be burnt on the tip so I cook it a little longer. So for today's uh, broccoli, since it's almost a full bag, I'm going to do um, 11 minutes at 370 degrees, and I'm gonna shake halfway. Yep, making sure I get all that in there. And I'll tell you, like, this broccoli is delicious. So, our air fryer is done. Let me show you what we got right here. We got the broccoli florets. You got some in there, and if you wanna put a little more seasoning in, you can, it's just up to you. And I might just put a little bit of, you know, my mama always say, don't measure nothing, just do it. So, all right, here we go. So I'm gonna take y'all over to the air fryer and then we're going to um, put this in and I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, so we're moving over here to the air fryer. We're gonna pull it out. It's nice and hot, preheated. If you want to spray the bottom, you can. Just a little bit, they're not gonna stick. We're gonna put our broccoli in there like so. And then you could scrape that out if you want to. Wish it around. That's what the broccoli should look like. Put it in the light for you. Should look like that. And then we're going to put it in the air fryer. We're going to do air fry this time. We're going to turn the temperature down to, well, let's do 375. And then we're going to hit start. And then we're going to do 11 minutes right there. Not sure if you can see the 11. There you go, right there. Then we're gonna shake halfway in 11. So we'll do it like, what, six? 
six minutes and then I'll be right back. One thing you want to note is you want to make sure you're watching it. And that's the uh, most important thing. How I like my broccoli may not be how you like yours. I like mine crispy on the top with a little burnt edges. That's just how I like to do it. So if that is the case, then you just need to watch it. I still will put 11 minutes on there and then shake it up and then you just see uh, where you want to. The best thing to do is experiment. Y'all may say, Keedron, this is a, a photography channel and a, a, a entertainment channel. When did you start doing cooking? Well, let me tell you, I've been cooking for a very, very long time. I'm not going to say this is so much cooking. This is just a helpful tip and it works perfectly if you're cooking chicken wings. I'm going to come back and I'm going to do some chicken wings one day and show you how to make some fire chicken wings in the air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, I'll put a link in the description below with this ninja and they have different variations like i bought my mom them one uh it was a different brand but it had a wider uh circumference at the bottom whereas this one is deep so i can't hold as much chicken as my mom's but just find the one that you want all of them pretty much work the same now once this uh broccoli is done we're going to take it out we're going to put it on the plate and i like to put parmesan on mine you don't even need no ranch with that i usually eat ranch with my steamed broccoli because it just doesn't have a flavor but it's something about that air fryer that does it for me so that being said today we're going to be eating my breakfast and i bought me a quiche down at my farmhouse uh normally i'll make a quiche if you want to see that put it in the link in the description and i'll show you how i make my particular quiche but i'm being lazy so i went to the farmhouse today they always cook it so i got me a quiche and i'm making me some hardwood bacon from costco and then we're doing the broccoli for our healthy meal somewhat. So yeah, stay tuned for when we get ready to shake. Actually, matter of fact, we're about to shake now. So this is what the broccoli is gonna be looking like. That's what it's looking like so far. Fogged up the camera. You just give it a little shake like so, and then you put it back in there, and that's it. So I decided to come out here and show you how our bacon is cooking. It looks like it's doing very well on my Blackstone flat top out here outside. So when we get done with that, I like my bacon crispy. And uh, when it's done, we'll put it out on a plate and I'll show you the final product. Well, our broccoli just got done. Look at that. Put it on the light so y'all can see. Let's put it on this light so you can see real good. Check that out. All right, it's fogging it up. Just got the broccoli just got done. I put it in there for a little longer like about uh, 13 minutes for me. Uh, that's just how I like it. I would start off at 11 to see what you think. If your broccoli is not crispy enough, that means you put too much oil in it. Um, normally you just have to experiment, but I just gave you the tools of how to make some perfect broccoli. And I used to not even eat broccoli, but now it's like one of my favorite vegetables, you may say, to eat. Now we're going to warm up our quiche. Cut that off 30 more seconds. We got our bacon. And then what I like to do is, a lot of people might say there's too much salt, but I'll just put a little, like a little sprinkle on the top, just like that. And then I like to use this Parmesan here. For some odd reason, this Parmesan tastes so much better. So then I'll put the Parmesan on the top. And I like a lot. Parmesan right there and then we're going to add the quiche in right here from the farmhouse it looks perfect and we got myself a great breakfast for this breakfast I'm going to be using uh, syrup because that's what I mean. You could even eat it with jelly or you can eat it. You may not even like none of that stuff, but it used to be on your mama. Now it's the Pearl Milling Company and I get the light version because I just like it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And that's what we have. My breakfast for this morning. All right. So we've got the breakfast here. I'm gonna taste it, but I wanna put a little more Parmesan on mine because I just like it with Parmesan. And then we're gonna take a bite. And then you can see how crispy it is on the edges, which I really love. Mm. 
That's a good flavor. Taste that quiche real quick that they made. I make my quiche a little bit differently. This is a bacon quiche. Mm. That's pretty good, Doc. I'm gonna taste that crispy bacon. Mmm, mmm. That's some fire bacon, man. Listen. Mm, that's so good. If you like this video, this is what I want you to do. I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely comment in the comment section and let me know how I did. And if you would like to see more of these cooking videos, something that you may or may not even know, but the, the object of this is for you to get to know me and what I like. I feel like I wanted to do something different for 2022 and I love to cook. You'll hardly ever see it on camera, uh, but I, I do like to cook and I like to experiment a lot. So during my experimentations, if you like these type of videos, because everybody got to eat, then definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. And we're gonna have more photography videos, EUC videos and car videos coming soon and product videos. So stay tuned. And uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, you can definitely follow me on Instagram at 924 Photography. It's right here on the screen right now. And I also have a store where I teach how to shoot off camera flash, dodge and burn and uh, color grading. So if you want that, the link will be in the description below as well. And I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Peace.